All right, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the ongoing cooldown as well as another bigger cooldown that is coming up in the more medium range. Anyways, for today's comment of the day, because I forgot to do one yesterday, I'm so sorry guys, I want to know, do you think that overall September has been a good month in your opinion as far as weather is concerned? Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on how September has gone in your area, and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Also, be sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more weather-related content as always. Let's get straight into this video, and we're taking a look here at the last 30 days. So this is a pretty much the last four days of August, and then the entirety of September so far. As you can see, we've basically had warmer than normal conditions for a lot of the United States. Uh, we do have a few cooler regions, including the Northwest, which has been particularly cooler, and then also the Southeast and Gulf states as well, as you can see, have been dealing with some of those below normal temperatures overall, especially the last few days. Actually, I'll show you guys that in a moment. Here's the last 14 days, and you can see it actually looks pretty much very similar to the last 30 days. So I think this has been the dominating half of the past 30 days. Uh, and then here's the past five days. So things have changed a lot, as you can see. Warmer out west for sure, even the northwest and the northeast, especially there, as you can see. But very, very cool compared to normal up there for the upper Midwest, Ohio Valley, Gulf states, southeast. These regions, especially there in the greens, have been far below normal over the past five days. And as we even narrow this even further down the past two days, look at how far below normal it has been over the past two days for some of these regions. That is 12 to 19 degrees below normal there in the magentas and pinks. So it has been far below normal for a lot of those regions. Even the greens is four to eight degrees below normal, which is a notable, that's a noticeable difference compared to normal there for a lot of those regions. We see a positive PNA out west, and really all that means is there's warmer than normal conditions out there, and then also the northeast has these warmer than normal conditions still set up. Sorry to bore you guys early on in this one, but let's take a look at those teleconnections. Here's our PNA or Pacific North American Oscillation, and again, this is in its positive phase, warmer than normal conditions on the west coast, and in its negative phase, colder than normal conditions over the west coast. As you can see, we're in a positive PNA. We're gonna dip negative in the shorter range. And then we're gonna go positive again for kind of the medium to long range, anywhere from about the 29th of September all the way through the first week of October. And this should bring colder than normal conditions in the Eastern United States, especially when compared and combined with this negative AO, Arctic oscillation, which is set up. And in this negative phase, it allows for Arctic air all the way from the Arctic regions to pour down uh, into kind of uh, areas further south, obviously, including the United States. And when we have that positive PNA combined with this, it encourages colder air specifically for the eastern half of the country. And that is the setup that we have for the end of September and the beginning of October as well. The NAO kind of works right along with the AO uh, and in its negative phase causes colder than normal conditions in the eastern United States, and sure enough, that is what we're expecting. Anyway, without further ado, let's get in a moment, get straight into the actual upcoming temperatures. We're gonna talk about today, tomorrow, the next day, Wednesday, and we're gonna move all the way along until about the 10th or even beyond of October, and just take a look at when this big cooldown can be expected. All right, now here we are taking a look here at about the 26th of September today from the time I'm making this video. And as you can see, we see colder than normal conditions already set up in the eastern half of the country, or at least the eastern third there. We do see some warmer than normal conditions there for the western two thirds of the country. Uh, but overall, this is the pattern we've been in for a couple of days. And this is the pattern that is expected to persist at least for a couple of days. Here's by the time we're reaching Monday, September 27th. And as you can see, the cool down is still around, but it's a little less potent by this point. Most of the warmer than normal conditions are over the middle portions of the United States. By the time we reach Tuesday, September 28th, you can see that negative PNA sets up. Look at how much more cold air enters into the western uh, quarter there of the country. That is our negative PNA setting up. And you can see the instant setup that happens is we see warmer air pour into the eastern half of the country. This is what I've been trying to teach you guys for so much time about this pattern and how 
strong of an influence this PNA really does have on our temperature pattern here in the United States, you instantly see a switch from colder in the east to warmer in the east as this cold air sets up in the west. Sure enough, that has taken place. The New England states in the northeastern United States do actually have some colder air by this point, and especially by the time we reach Wednesday, September 29th here, that negative PNA gets even stronger out there in the west. The warmer air in the upper Midwest gets even stronger as well. But still, we managed to get some colder air up there for the New England states by this point. And it's only going to expand on that because by the time we're reaching Thursday, September 30th, we see some warmer air return for the western United States. That negative PNA was very short-lived and it is coming to an end by this point. But we see some colder air expanding up there for the northeastern corner of the United States. Now, by the time we reach Friday, Sept or sorry, October 1st, better yet, uh, that, yeah, so we're going to be seeing some colder than normal conditions up there for the northeastern corner of the United States still expanding by this point. The warmer air in the west is also expanding, so that negative PNA is surely coming to an end, and we see the beginning of a new positive PNA by this point. Uh, this is kind of that full pattern flip taking place, and we should be in a colder pattern very shortly after this. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on, and we're going to move on towards the 2nd of October, 5th of October, 7th of October, and then eventually the 10th of October, uh, where we're going to see it, things get even cooler. All right, now here we are taking a look here at the 2nd of October, and this is by about 2 p.m. We see colder than normal conditions down there for the south central United States and the northeastern corner of the United States. Uh, we do see some warmer air over the southeastern United States and then especially the north central United States as well. But that positive PNA is building in further and further, and this should encourage the colder air to make its way further east. By the time we reach Tuesday, and this is going to be October 5th, we see warmer than normal conditions really taking over out west. That positive PNA is getting even stronger, and we see even colder air making its way in the east here. As you can see, the bright greens indicating temperatures that are 10 to 15 degrees below normal. So the beginning of October could be quite cool. By the time we reach Thursday, October 7th, things get even more uh, interesting here. As you can see, we see warmer than normal conditions for a majority of the West outside of Washington and Oregon. And then a cool down, a little less potent by this point, but still a cool down for the eastern corner, or sorry, the eastern kind of quarter of the country here. Uh, and that is that positive PNA. Now, by the time we reach about Sunday, October 10th, you can see the warm air in the west kind of rebuilds, and we see a much more potent cooldown coming into the eastern United States. And this is certainly an Arctic blast. It comes from the Arctic regions of the United, or sorry, not the United States, of North America, obviously, uh, impacting mostly the Ohio Valley, the Great Lakes, the upper Midwest, and the Northeast by this point. But... By the time we reach October 11th here, that's going to be a Monday, we could see that we see much stronger colder air in the eastern United States, and that's actually pouring further south. The greens, again, indicating 10 to 15 degrees below normal. Very, very potent cool down, but we do see a negative PNA trying to build in by this point. This is the longer range, so take it with a grain of salt, but this could be the end of that colder pattern in the east. Anyway, for today's confidence tab, we're at a 4 out of 6. We talked about some short range some medium range and some long range things today. That brings us to kind of a middle of the road type confidence tab today. For today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our platinum patrons, John Ben Benick, James Wade, Dovin Eagle, Lil the Pan, and Donna Carnes, alongside our diamond patrons, Bill Roberts, Marcus Connolly, No Harley, Michael Cotalesa, Cat Bite, Charles Stinnett, Cindy Klein, Mark J, Luke Flago, Gary's, John Khaleesi, Dwight Balin, and Stephen Crenenthal. If you'd like to be part of this very exciting patron end screen today, you can do so by joining our very awesome Patreon page in the description and in the pinned comments down below. I would also like to thank our channel members, Hair Farms One, Catbite, Stephen Fan, and Jeremy Cox as well. If you'd like to join this one, it'll be next to the subscribe button down below. Like I said before, I forgot to do a comment of the day yesterday, so that's why there is none at the end of this video. Just want to let you guys know, just in case you're confused. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more weather-related content. I'll see you guys in the next video.